Jack Edley. Um, I go to school at Buffalo State College. I study criminal justice. I am the owner of Venus Greek and Mediterranean. I have created and built a slice of Italy. Uh, now it's owned uh, by Joseph Gerges. Um, the menu and the ideas are created and built uh, by me. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, do a food truck or a food uh, trailer for Venus uh, soon. That's all the stuff that I should be doing. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, in August 2014, uh, Slice of Italy was purchased by my brother to make it run better uh, because I wish I had more than 24 hours a day. Um, be running between Buffalo State and coming to Venus all day, Venus is non-stop. Thank God it's been really good since uh, day one. Uh, it was um, it was a little bit tough at first, but then uh, running into uh, so many incidents and experiences uh, allowed me to understand better how to run the business, what it means. Put a ton of love in it. You want a ton or a lot of everything in general from like uh, customer service, um, how to uh, get the food in the best quality ever, and um, uh, being able to always be involved with the customer, not just in uh, giving them food, talk to them about like, how the day is going and whatnot. And I think it's just more than just serving food, it's just getting close to the customer, making them feel comfortable into the place. Um, my parents do a lot of the cooking as well because it's homemade. Um, my sister runs the place since day one as well with me. Uh, she manages the place, she hits a lot of hours with me. But it's, it's just a lot of work, and it's me, it's her, and it's the family, and Chloe is such a great staff. Um, I've had my employees for almost, one of them is almost two years now. I mean, they come and go, but uh, with the employees, with my family, and my sister, I think it just it makes Venus uh, a lot stronger, and the customers love to see all their faces when they walk in. Chicken shawarma uh, platter and sandwich, they're very, very popular. Um, the thing is, a lot of people are very familiar with the sublaki, so they'll come for the first time, ask for chicken sublaki, beef sublaki, or the euro, but then next thing you know, they'll, they'll after like a while, they want to try something different, and they, they recently have been getting different uh, customers asking for shawarma, not just once, but most of the times now, they ask for the shawarma. Uh, it's not really that popular in Western New York, but um, that's why I was very surprised that they, were, they would ask for it again and again. Right now I'm dealing with a couple of UB students that are into, they're, they're trying to open their own business, I'm trying to give them advices. The biggest thing I said is, um, it's a risk. You gotta take it. You can't, you can't back down. You gotta put all of you into it, and you cannot back down. Whatever you go through, um, it's, it's gonna be uh, beneficial at the end. It's gonna pay off, not today maybe, not tomorrow, but it will pay off if you put yourself into it. If you know what you're doing, then take the risk and you're, put yourself all in. 